VV is teaming up with Marvel for the first ever VV physical comic variants. You heard that right. It's actually going to be VV on a physical Marvel comic. Shout out to all my OGs that have been watching the channel for a long time. I used to do almost exclusive VV content. I've definitely broadened out a lot, but I still cover all of the major milestones. And to me, this is one. So we're going to look at it in this video. Take a look at the artist behind it. Take a look at who wrote it. Of course, watch the promotional video together and all that. So without further ado ado let's dive in so at first i'm going to annoy you with some interruptions because i want to talk about each individual aspect of this video and then at the end i'll do like one fluid watch uh, without sound uh, so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at it you have the new york city comic-con booth the superior spider-man returns 2023 number one that's the of course the comic that is going to have the vv variant and uh, it's going to show some covers and everything like that giant one size one shot by dan slot all right let's pause here here comes the annoyance who is Dan Slott, if you're not familiar? So I wouldn't consider myself a hardcore physical comic collector or even mediocre, but I enjoy them. I have probably 10 plus now. Uh, VV got me into collecting physical comics, so I, I like to figure out like about who I'm who I'm talking about. So if you go to Dan Slott, you know, you know, a lot of you watching this are probably big enough fans so we already know him. He's a comic book writer, of course, currently working on The Superior, Spider-Man, and Spider-Boy. He's also done Doctor Who, which is a, obviously another huge franchise I have myself have loved over the years. Um, so I'm not going to like dive in, like do a deep dive because this video is not about him, but uh, this isn't some random person. I mean, he has 162,000 followers on Twitter, um, now X, whatever. And uh, he obviously is a writer for Marvel. So this is the real deal teaming up with him to be able to come up with this variant. This is VV Official's tweet on, this is a one shot by Dan Slott. We'll be available the first ever VV physical comic uh, variants as I said at the beginning of the video, and it's going to be at the VV Marvel booth. Man, if you are watching this and you're going to be in NYC, I'm not able to make it this year. If somebody wants to grab a few extra, if they're able to, I don't know, like I, I will pay for it, pay shipping. Let me know. Uh, I would love to get my hands on one of these. So if you're watching this and want to spread some love, uh, maybe if you're one of my friends watching this or something uh, that's in the VV community, uh, ask whoever's at the booth, be like, hey, Chris Coffee would love one of these because uh, unfortunately I'm not able to make it, uh, but I would love one, but we'll, we'll move on. So it says the art. So the art is by Ryan Stegman, Mark Bagley, Cannot say that name. I'm going to try it. Guisa Camucoli and Humberto Ramos. So I looked up a lot of these. I wasn't familiar with some. Uh, it looks like uh, Mar not Mark Ryan Stegman actually has a, a fan base. Um, he doesn't really talk about specifically Marvel a lot. He does have Superior Spider-Man on here and some of his variants. He also has 72,000 followers on, on Twitter. I could have probably tried to look to more professional into his LinkedIn, but... Uh, this does show a little bit of the art that he's done, um, just like with his rough drafts and everything, or not just rough drafts, but like his uh, his black and whites and his different variations. So it looks like really cool art. I'm um, excited to see all the different variants for this, uh, and you know specifically on the VV ones, which we're going to get to in just a minute. So let's continue on. So we're getting like glimpses of the comic, of course. And featuring the first ever VV physical cover variant. So this is where it comes in. That's really cool. I love how like just this looks, you know, so much like the physical, uh, unlike the uh, some of the other comics to where like you can kind of tell it's more like designed to be digital. But look at this. And this is where it's big. On the back of it is VV's emblem. I think that's huge, not just for VV, but for the Web3 space as a whole. I think that's a win. That, that shows that Marvel, in my opinion, that shows that Marvel trusted this company that's building on blockchain enough to put allow them to put their name on a physical variant that's going to be there forever, that people are going to buy or people are going to get from this event and forever have their name you know, pasted on it. So I think this is not only a win for VV. I think this is a win for the entire space, um, and I just think that's huge having that name on it. Because it's not just a VV cover, like it has VV's name on it. So they could have very easily just kind of pointed to VV, I feel like, and not been super explicit with it, but here they are. As you can see, they are on sale at VV in the Marvel booth uh, at 2153 at New York Comic Con. So again, another interesting thing is instead of going to VV for Marvel stuff, you can actually go to Marvel for a VV related thing. I don't know if that's ever been done before. I don't think it has. Again, I think this is a big win. First time I've really been excited about a VV announcement in a, in a little while. Um, you can see the Marvel and VV collaboration there. 
So as promised, I will uh, just let Lau to go ahead and play through uh, and just kind of talk about it. So I wish I was going to New York Comic Con. I'm not able to make it this year. I have other things going on. Hopefully, Decon, if there is official meetups, I can make it there. But kind of just reinstating what I said in the video, I think this is a big deal for VV, a big deal for the space. I know there's been a lot of bumpy things in the last year or two, specifically with VV. I still collect on there. I still support the team uh, as far as I still support the community uh, and a lot of you guys that are still watching this right now, um, despite the bumpy ride. But I think they're making significant steps in the right direction, uh, gaining trust. And I always celebrate wins across the board, whether that's VV or any other uh, NFT project or platform that's actually doing things in this market. It's very easy to quit in this market. It's very easy to leave, to rug, to do whatever. So for those that are still around right now, still building, I definitely support you that are, you know, of course, doing ethical means to do so. But like I said, uh, this is a really big deal to me, in my opinion. Maybe I'm like over dramatizing it. If you think that I am, I would love to know your opinion and have a conversation about it down below in the comments. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.